Hi, my name is Peter Lee, and welcome to Ask a Dev. Today's question from Jason, and he asks, what hardware innovation are you most excited about? So in the hardware space, there are two things I'm really excited about. The first being wireless charging. So you're be we're beginning to see a lot of these innovations in this space with uh, inductive charging plates, where you can get cases or modules for your phones to charge your phone inductively through a platform. And as we move forward, we anticipate a lot of new innovations that make it even easier. So, so why wireless charging in the first place? It, it it's because it simplifies the workflow. You don't have to worry about plugging in a device every night. All you have to do is set it on a particular platform. But in the future, we expect different hardware innovations to work even more seamlessly. Uh, for example, there's one company called U-Beam that uses ultrasound technologies to deliver energy to your phone. So if you imagine walking home or walking to your favorite coffee shop and your phone or hardware device automatically begins to charge itself. It's essentially like having Wi-Fi, but instead of providing you internet, you get delivered power. The second thing I'm really excited about is innovations in low-power GPS. So from a, a mobile device perspective, we've gotten many new technologies, Bluetooth, low energy, um, accelerometers and gyroscopes, and a lot of these sensor technologies have really been enabled by uh, clever innovations in low power modes, where you can keep the device in sleep mode for much longer before you turn it on when you're actually using the, uh, the sensory inputs. So GPS is slightly a different story, where first of all, you're communicating with satellites in space. And at any one point in time, you need to communicate with three or more satellites to triangulate your location. So with GPS, if you have them off the whole time, uh, it takes about eight to 12 minutes to get first time to fix uh, three or more satellites. And you can also, from a hot start, it only takes about two to three seconds. But the problem with a hot start is that you're constantly listening to what these satellites are saying. And as a result, your cell phone only lasts less than half of the day. So this is a problem that has really been limiting the amount of innovation the hardware companies can do for GPS and geolocation. So beyond having smart power toggling for on and off modes, there have recently, relatively recently been innovations with GPS, with uh, a GPS, assisted GPS. So this technology enables the device to hone in on local cell phone towers, which helps you locate where you are geographically to be able to basically whittle down the list of satellites that you have to look for. So this technology is, is very well implemented in a lot of cell phones and mobile devices today, which help improve the battery performance with GPS. But we still have that problem of listening to the slow communication channels of GPS. What I'm really looking forward to in GPS technologies is lower power and smaller footprint modules. This will enable a much broader range of applications for both mobile and wearable technologies enabling these technologies to really leverage the geolocation capabilities and the benefits of this type of data. That's all for today's episode. Tweet your questions to hashtag AskADev or leave your comments down below.